So I hope you're all ready for a cup of Tableau. I hope you have a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, some water, or maybe if you are in the Netherlands like I am, have a nice cold lemonade because it's beautiful weather outside. So maybe you're even enjoying this session in the sun outside. Um, what will we be doing today? Today we'll just take about 15 minutes because these sessions, for those of you who are new to these sessions, only take about 15 minutes, just a short break of the day, breaking it up with a drink and maybe even a snack and some knowledge on Tableau. Um, this session today will talk about a partial drill down. I will shortly explain what I mean uh, and why we would even be interested in having a partial drill down. So you'll see me switching between this PowerPoint and Tableau itself. You don't have to build along with me. Um, you can, of course, watch this video uh, later on YouTube, um, and then you will be able to build along. For now, I just want to share this knowledge with you on how to build a partial drill down. Currently, what we have in Tableau, we have hierarchies to create that drill down. We have a plus and minus symbol that denote that we have a drill down, and we can work with that. We do find that when we build with hierarchies, and I'll show you that in Tableau in a second, that they're sometimes hard to find for end users. They're hard to know, can I click on this and will it drill down? And also it opens up everything. I mean with everything, I'll just quickly show you that in Tableau. As you can see, this is a pre-built visualization using Tableau's sample superstore. I'm only using orders, just so you're aware. Currently, we're looking at the sum of sales, and on our rows, we have that plus symbol for categories, denoting that we have a hierarchy of those visual cues. We also see that on the left-hand side in our data pane, we can see this sort of hierarchy symbol product. We can see that we can drill down from category into subcategory, and even further into manufacturing. Now, as an end viewer, I would see this overview, and sometimes it's hard to note that we have that little plus symbol all the way at the top, we have this plus symbol and that allows us to drill down. And already you can see that I'm not just drilling down into furniture, I'm also drilling down for office supplies and technologies. And the same would be the case if I go hover with my mouse on subcategories, if I click on that plus symbol. Either if we're fitting visualization to the whole view, it's smooshed down or when we're not fitting it to the entire view, but the standard, we have to scroll. Let's say we would be interested in office supplies. Well, if I open up art even further, I have to scroll even further down to until I can actually find art. It's great that Tableau has this functionality of the hierarchies that allows that drill down, but we can improve upon this by using a parameter action. What do we need? we can create a partial drill down. It allows for an end user to just point with their mouse. They don't have to move their mouse to the top of the visualization. They can click and they can drill down. Easier to understand and interact with that, with the drill down. And they can only look at what is interesting. What do we need? We need a parameter. We need calculated field or calculated fields, depending on how many actions you build. And we need an action either a worksheet action, if we're just showing it in a worksheet, or a dashboard action, if we're working on the dashboard. So we need to create a parameter, we'll be able to fill that parameter using an action, and we need a calculated field that works with that parameter. What will we be doing? Well, we'll build the same overview, such as the sum of sales per category and subcategory, but we'll build a partial drill down. So I'll just go over to a new sheet, so we just get rid of the old sheet. Currently I have the sum of sales. Uh, I want to work with this field category, but not in a hierarchy. So what I'll do just quickly, I'll right click, create a duplicate. I will quickly rename this category uh, adapter hierarchy, just, just so that I know what I'm using it for. And the first thing I'll do, I'll just drag this onto rows. Now I need another field to drill deeper, and I needed a parameter. Remember that parameter. What I'll do, I'll click on the 
data pane on the left hand side where it has that little drop down i'll create a parameter i need to name that parameter i'll call this the chosen category so i know what it's doing it is denoting the chosen category it needs to be a string field and the current value actually doesn't matter it can be one that's absolutely fine we'll change that and we'll allow all values all values are accepted i'll click on ok and we have a parameter all the way at the bottom i will completely right click that parameter on the left hand side and say show parameter the only reason i'm doing this so you can see what is actually happening with that parameter called chosen category for now what i'll also do i need a secondary field a calculated field that works with that parameter what i do i'll create a calculated field and i'll call this subcategories Categories. So I know it needs to be subcategory, but I cannot have two fields with the same name, so I'll just call this subcategories so I know what it's doing. I'll create an if statement, I'll make this a little bit bigger. If the value of the parameter called chosen category is the same as the value of category, then show me on the same row the values of subcategory because we're drilling down else i want you to show me an empty value and i will end that if then statement so currently if the value in chosen category that parameter equals any of the values in category the blob will show me the subcategories that are part of that category nice and simple i'll click on ok i have this subcategories field on the left hand side a new calculated field I'll drag that in, and currently everything is empty, which makes sense because category is not selected. That chosen category is all empty. Quickly create a worksheet, a worksheet action, and I'll tell to the, oh, I've already created a few. I'll remove these, add anything. I'll create a new action, a change parameter value action, or change parameter value. Uh, I will name this, so I'll name this hierarchy category. So I know exactly why is this parameter exist and what will it do? Well, it works in the hierarchy for category. The source sheet is adapted hierarchy. I will run the action on a select. The users don't need to hover with their mouse, they need to really click. And now I'm setting my target. Well, my target parameter is the chosen category, the one that we've just created. Field will it be filling? Well, it will be filled with that category, adapted hierarchy. So it will be filled with either furniture or technology. I don't need to worry about any aggregation, and clearing the selection will actually just keep the good values. Click on OK. I have this parameter action. I'll click on OK. Now, what happens if I click on the word furniture because we created that? parameter action that will fill my parameter of chosen category with the word furniture and therefore my subcategories that field of subcategory will be filled i'll show you how that works I'll click on furniture and as you see on the right hand side my chosen category parameter now has the new value furniture immediately kicking off i'll quickly show that Kicking off our if then statement. If the parameter of chosen category equals the category, in this case furniture, then show me the subcategory. So on every row of value, or in this case, it has furniture in the field category adapted, and it has the same in that parameter, then show me the subcategory. So bookcases, chairs, furnishing, tables, etc. And as you can see, I can I only see that part in which I am interested. Allowing me, and I'll show you that as an end user. What do I see as an end user? Well, it allows me to click furniture, click office supplies, and click on technology and only drill down into those part that I'm actually interested in. Now, 
you can of course imagine if we roll this out further, we have to create more parameters, more calculated fields, and then we can actually build the exact same hierarchy as we have, but instead of having a complete everything opening up completely, we only open up parts of what we're actually interested in. So I've managed to create this hierarchy as you can see, with considerably a little time in my opinion. So what I'll do now, I'll check if there's any questions in the Q&A. And if you have any questions and want me to explain a little bit more what is happening, feel free to use that time now. In this case, showing you how to use a parameter action to create a capture drill down is There are no questions so far in Q&A. This allows me to very quickly show you that next week's session, we'll talk about things I wish I knew when I started working with Tableau. Just some helpful tips that will make your life a little bit easier. You can go onto our LinkedIn page or you can scan this uh, QR code. Uh, you can subscribe yourself for next week's session where we talk about the things I wish I knew when I started working with Tableau. That is it for today's, as I said, short and sweet session about the partial drill down in creating that using a parameter action. Are there any further questions? There is a question. How do you clear the drill down vision? It's a very good question from Emmanuel. So how do we clear that drill down vision? Well, there's two options that we could choose. It's a little bit difficult to really clear it. Um, we can go into our action and instead of what I noted as clearing the selection will keep the current value, I can actually say um, set value. I can say it sets the value to back to one, which means if I click OK, other time I'm okay. If I click on anything else in our visualizations, it should allow me to clear that section. And now it's back to one. So there you have your sort of free visualization again. As you can see. The downside could be if you're working in a dashboard environment that you click on a different visualization altogether and that also will clear that action. So the question is, do you really want to clear everything or allow people to, you know what, if you want to have this, keep it open and you can change uh, your parameter. Edit this parameter, say, so you know what, if you're opening up when the workbook opens, you can set it to a particular value, such as having the value one in this case. When you publish the workbook with this particular value, everybody who opens this workbook or this dashboard will just have it as an undrilled down visualization. Does that answer your question, Emmanuel? You're very welcome. And now this is what I wanted to share. So what I'll do, I'll stop my screen share. I will hang around for a few more minutes if you do have any further questions. And for those of you who are jumping out, I just want to wish you uh, a good afternoon and thank you for joining me on this particular session. I hope to see you next week for the things I wish I knew when I started working with the low, which will be a fun session, I think. Uh, you're welcome, very welcome, Jyoti. I will see you next week. So once again, Thank you all for joining me and I hope to see you next week when we're talking about the things I wish I knew. Just a fun session. Fun using tool. Good afternoon and enjoy the sun outside if you do have the sun.